Oh, what do we have today? 2008 Lincoln MKX V6. Customer complaint is, it obviously it's misfiring. So they brought it to this local shop and they brought them a box of parts and told them replace these parts. Obviously ignition coils and spark plugs. Here's a box of parts. Original coils, original Motorcraft plugs. Yeah, they're worn. And then, the misfire is still there and the shop said they replaced two injectors. On cylinders number one and number two. That didn't fix it, okay. And then, now here we are. Let's do full health report. We can do the uh, power balance test, see which cylinder is misfiring, and go from there. All right, so here are the four codes stored in the PCM. Misfire detected cylinder one, ignition coil A, primary circuit fault, ignition coil C, primary circuit malfunction. All right, so we have those saved. Uh, let's just clear all these out, go to the PCM, do that power balance test, see exactly which cylinder is misfiring. So look, two codes are still stored. Ignition coil A, primary circuit fault. Excellent. Makes my job a lot easier. So what are we suspecting here? I'm suspecting bad driver in the engine computer. That's a classic Ford failure. Whenever the spark plug gets worn, the coil gets stressed out, the coil shorts out, and cooks the driver in the engine computer. And that's exactly why uh, that's just, I think, poor design to run high current, high voltage through an engine computer. On some cars with like three wire coils, there's a little pulse that just triggers the coil and the transistor's inside the coil and everything dangerous happens on the coil. So if something goes bad, you're replacing a coil, not the engine computer. Anyways, let's just make sure that it's cylinder number one misfiring. So um, special functions, power balance. I think Tool Pros is probably the fastest scanner on Fords. Right there, cylinder number one. That's all we need to see. So now, what I want to do is hook up a scope, maybe two channels on two neighboring cylinders and see what a good one looks like and what a bad one looks like. Alright, so where exactly would you hook up your scope? Remember, we're trying to be efficient and thorough. Right at the engine computer. We want to check wiring integrity through the ignition coil if it's making it to the engine computer. If it is and the computer is not pulsing it, boom, you got a bad computer driver. So, right at the engine computer, according to the wiring diagram, coils 1 and 2 are on pins 17 and 16 on connector C175E. Now, which connector is that? You want to look at connector locations. And it looks like the middle connector, that would be C175E powertrain control module. So, we're going after the middle connector and the pins, C175E, 17 and 16, so I guess the upper row, it's gonna be yellow and blue, violet and white. Let's go find those wires and uh, put a scope on there. Time for the Pico scope, two channels. Popped off the little plastic cover here. So pin 17, the white and the purple, it's going to be channel 1, that's ignition coil 1 control. Channel 2 is the yellow with a blue stripe. So you just want to compare known good and known bad, or suspected bad, and see, um, see if we see anything interesting. So let's set up the scope. So for these, let's bump up the, the voltages to 100 volts. Turn the key on. What a surprise, they both go up. 12 volts so that check right there tells you power feeds good there's continuity through the ignition coil it's getting to the engine computer let's fire it up and see <laughs> I'm guessing the blue trace won't do much 
And there you go. We'll stop the recording. Zoom in. There's our multi-strike system on ignition coil number two, number one, then the water, no activity. That's clear as day to me. Now, is there a missing pulse right there? You can kind of see, you know, spark and noise, 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 missing noise and spark. Where is the number one supposed to be? I bet it's right here. If we look up the firing order, it's going to be one, something, two. Easy enough to do. Just type in firing order. Mechanical specifications, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's one, four, two, five, three, six. So one is missing, four, two. See that on the scope? One is missing, four, two. It doesn't get any more guaranteed than that. This thing needs an engine computer. Or, um, you can tear it apart like uh, Jake over there at what was it Automotive Diagnostics and Programming. He could probably fix this thing pretty easily. Um, I haven't really gotten into component level repairs unless the PCM is easy to take apart, you know, replace a component. But if you have to melt the seal in and scra scrape away the goop and you know all that fun stuff, you actually need some specialty equipment. But Jake over there. Uh, he actually repaired a Ford ECM not too long ago for, I think it was a fuel um, pump control problem. That was impressive. So go check check out uh, that channel. But regardless, this thing needs a PCM. And we'll do follow-up if, uh, if the shop sources one. But what does that tell you about all this stuff? I'm sure the coils... Are, most of them are fine maybe number one shorted out the spark plugs are obviously worn and these Lincoln's right at about a hundred thousand miles if you don't change the spark plugs this will happen I've seen it more than once so if you own you know one of these Fords with the coil unplugged system and you've never changed anything just change your spark plugs out before this happens thanks a lot for watching we'll see you next time bye bye